also open, open to the downside, as I, in, as I demonstrated before. If you have a for a wheel, and you put the, and you open the wheel, then it will fall on the ground. That is what it allows the blood to flow into this, and the blood will again be sent to the aorta through the aortic valve. So now, let's come back to this. The blood are here, the oxygenated blood come this side and here the oxygenated blood from the upper side came into the heart and it enters the heart through the valve and from this valve it again comes to the next valve and it comes this way and this blood again is being sent directly to the pulmonary artery uh, to the pulmonary artery for purification okay it is being sent to the pulmonary artery for purification so what happened is this when this system happened here yeah, this side that is the lethal side of the, of the heart contain the oxygenated blood and the retal side of the heart contain the oxygenated blood and responsible for circulation of the blood in the human body this papillaries, this papillaries is responsible for contraction and realization of the valves, okay, and also connecting the mechanical and, and electrical information in the heart. We talk that when discussing the pathology of the heart. So now, let's come to the next side. We have a thick muscular wall, a wall in the upper layers of the heart. We have a wall. A wall in the heart. This wall functions for protection of the heart, and this wall is called pericardium. Peri and cardium. This peri meet because the heart looks like pericycle and it covers all the layers of the heart for protection of the heart. And cardium means the heart. So let's come back. We have also a layer in the, in the inner sides of the heart.
Okay, it's like this. And this muscle is called myocardium. Or cardiac muscle. Now, let's come. The function of this myocardium is for realization and contraction of the heart. Okay? When the blood comes, this casual mass I have in the stretching because it is fibrous, it have in the stretching of the heart. And exactly what happens in this process? From this process, when we talk of the pathology of the heart, this is what leads to the, this is what leads to a bradycardian and this is what leads to bradycardia and tachycardia in the heart. Also now, how tachycardia and bradycardia occur in the heart? When the heart matters is contracting, this capillaries will also contract. And when this capillary contract, it will start pumping the blood. And it will be a pumping like loop do, loop do. This will come this way, it will open this way and the blood will flow, it will, it will result as loop, 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 loop. Then when the blood is going to the upper side and it is contracted, the heart beat will increase, which is, it will be do, do, do. That is why we name it as loop, do, loop, do. This loop do is what leads to tachycardia and bradycardia of the heart. Therefore, from the diaphragm of the heart, this is the heart indicating it all its shapes and the levels of the heart, which also indicating the anatomy and physiology of the heart, respectively. Therefore, this diagram will have both medical and parliamentary students. Thank you.